Knights of Baron. Who are you? Leave now or suffer the consequences. Show yourself. You choose to ignore my warnings? Yes. We have to get to Mist. We're not turning back. So be it. The mist is gathering. And it's boss time. Against Mist Dragon. Let's see. Uh, now we'll just attack. Okay, jump to 60 damage. I'll see how much damage that uh, Darkness does. Okay, about the same as a physical attack, so. What is attack here? Alright, so the dragon turned into mist, so what you want to do now is not attack. Just wait. And the dragon will transform back into its um, original form. If you attack it in this form, it'll counterattack. So it's basically very similar to the Gar. Uh, I already forgot the thing's name in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> How did I forget that? Guard Scorpion or whatever I think is what it's called. Anyway, I keep jumping and attacking. There we go. Got it. Nice. Here we go. The first boss of Final Fantasy IV, Pixel Master, defeated. There he is. Uh oh. Watch out. And it's boss time. Against Octo Mammoth. So you definitely want to use thunder against this boss because it's weak to thunder. So you want to have Tella and... Or is it weak? Is it weak to thunder? Yes, it is weak to thunder. Okay, I was just wondering... Well, I wasn't doing that much damage to it. It's also weak to darkness as well. But I think it's better just to use the physical attack. With Cecil. Yeah, and as you can tell, it, it, the more you attack it, it'll start to lose its tentacles. And that means you're getting close to defeating it when it, once it's out of tentacles, it's almost dead. So it's a pretty cool boss. Yep, he's only got two more tentacles left. I guess this is a prelude to Ultros. This is Ultros before Ultros was Ultros. I can tell we almost got it. Just keep casting them thunder spells. Cecil does so much damage though to this thing. And there you go, Octo Mammoth defeated. And for defeating the boss you get 500 gil and 1200 EXP. Very nice.
It's okay, antlions are quite tame. They don't attack people. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll demonstrate by taking the sand ruby, like so. Wow. He's just gonna go right in for it, isn't he? Oh. Ah! Come on, we have to help him. And it's boss time against antlion. So this boss uh, counterattacks. Let's see, what do I want to use against this boss? Let's do Blizzard. Yeah, if you physical attack him, watch what happens. Yeah, he counterattacks with Horn, which doesn't really do a whole lot, but still. Yeah, but it, it doesn't counterattack the character that you attack with, though. He'll counterattack a random character in your party. So. Yeah, it's probably immune to poison. I'll just keep spamming Blizzard. One thing you can do against this boss, um, and you have to be careful, is to not attack too much, because as you can tell, he does quite a bit of damage. Uh, so you don't want to physical attack too much. You want to take the time to heal up a little bit, and then do physical attacks. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't know he'll use his items. It uses potions. Are you serious? I didn't know that. Wow. I seriously didn't know that. I played this game four times and I never knew that. So I've been using my potions this entire time. Wow. Have ready to heal up a little bit here. There we go, got it. Alright, so I'm never going to use heal again, that's for sure. I didn't know it uses potions. Wow. I wish I had known that. Was that how it was in Final Fantasy IV, the original game as well? Because I honestly didn't know that. I'm never going to use that again, that's for sure. Okay, it's automatically controlled by the AI. There's something about Yang I always liked. He fits the martial arts character so good. I wasn't really a big fan of uh, Sab Sabin from Final Fantasy VI. Or Sabin, I mean, whatever. But Yang fits the martial arts, like, so well. Good grief. That's no normal bomb. We have to help him. And it's boss time against Mom Bomb. Okay, so let's get protect on everybody, I believe.
I'm gonna wait to attack because... I don't want to inflict too much damage on this boss, as you will see shortly. I'll go ahead and heal up some here. I have potions, so I don't mind using heal. I went back in Bolt, 99 potions. Okay, now we can start attacking. Do Blizzard. You want to keep you want to keep your HP as high as you possibly can in this fight too. Yeah, let's try to get slow on it. I think it might actually work. Actually, it probably won't. It did work though. That's nice. Okay, now it's gonna come giant bomb. I'm gonna blow. Explode, and it's gonna hit everybody. There we go. And now it's going to separate into a bunch of different bombs. I believe Protect does reduce the damage of Explode, but I could be wrong about that. So, Start to cast Blizzard on the bomb. Okay, Blizzard doesn't do a whole lot to those. Ah, oh, crap. Self-destruct. There we go. Got it. Nice. And for defeating that boss, 2418 EXP and 543 gil. Who's there? Uh oh. Under Master Gobez's orders, I Star Miglion of Earth will deliver you onto the gates of hell. My undead hunger for your flesh. And it's boss time. Against Skullnet. Now we'll do twin cast. We need a cure already. Let's just wait for a little bit. Okay, now we'll cure the party. So. There is a catch to this boss. I'm not, I don't remember what it is though. I think he counterattacks every time you attack him or something. Yeah, he does counterattack. Okay. So you gotta be careful not to go all out against him because. Of the counter attacks. Let's do Fyra.
Yeah, 700 damage. You have another fire. -a. We got slow works on it. Oh, it does. Nice. Not that it really matters because he counterattacks. Get Berserk on, on Razor there. Amplifies damage. What's happening to me? Got him. And for defeating him, you get 2400 gil and 3400 EXP. Very nice. He's probably the hardest boss that we fought so far, but still pretty easy. I should have got slow on him at the beginning, though. So what I recommend you do is, the first thing do, you do is cast slow. And then you go all out. Death. Join me in hell. And it's boss time. He's back again. And this time he's changed forms and he has a back attack. I forgot about this battle, honestly. Alright, let's change Rose there. And we'll try to get slow on him. High potion on Tell there. We'll do fire or fire. Breathe deep and walk as the undead. Curses elegy. Alright, so let's do protect on Tella because he's taking a lot of damage. Then we'll do fire. Oh wait, that might actually damage us. Oh, nope, no room, we're good. I was thinking, since he was talking about how fill the cursed, or I thought he's gonna turn us on. I thought he turned us undead, is what I was trying to say. See, as you walk with as an undead, but it doesn't actually turn you into an undead. I thought it did. I'm not even sure what that does, honestly. Anyways, just keep casting fire. -a. Yeah, I got no no clue what that does, guys. I guess I didn't even need to heal there. Damage by poison, okay. There we go, he's defeated again. I didn't even have any equipment on Cecil either. Palin was MVP in that battle though, Fyra. Not even Tella has Fyra. I need to get Tella Fyra though. I could use Recall 
and he can he can learn a bunch of spells, but I just haven't used it yet. I should have been using it, but I didn't. Anyway, for defeating him, you get 2,500 gil and 3,600 EXP. Bygen, not you too. Is something the matter? You serve Golbez as well? Never. As captain of the Royal Guards, my loyalty lies with Baron. Or Sid, I heard he's being held prisoner. I was looking for him myself, but my men and I were attacked and I was the only one, only survivor. I see then you must join us. It would be an honor. Captain Bygan of the Royal Guards has joined the party. What is it? Something's wrong. Yes, I sense danger. What? Like a monster? Oh, give me a break, mister. So no disrespect, but that acting of yours is about as subtle as a crutch. Bygen, you betrayed Baron too? Gobez's wishes are Baron's wishes, and he granted a wonderful power to me, observe. And it's boss time against Bygen. Okay, so for this particular boss, you have the... Two arms, and then you have the body. If you kill the body and not defeat the arms, the arms will self-destruct. Um, kick is really good in this battle because it hits both of them. Or hits, hits all of them, I mean. Uh, the arms can sap your HP, and they can also... Uh, paralyze your uh, characters as well. So I'm going a little bit slow here. I need to like speed it up a little bit here. Yeah, and once you cast magic on him, he'll reflect his entire body. Um, thank you, dude. You put haste on a. Uh, Uh, something you could do is cast Reflect on one of your characters and then bounce spells off your... Do Kick. Uh, if you defeat the arms, they'll also, they'll also uh, resummon them as well. Could do a cure on the entire party here. Uh, you could do twin cast and hope to get uh hope to get uh, uh what is it comet because it bypasses reflect but if you get the pyro cast or whatever it's called um It will, it will, the spell will bounce back. So you don't want to do that. I don't recommend doing Twin Cast. But if you, if you get lucky and get Comet, it's really good. I think I will get Reflect on Yang. And I'll bounce spells off him. Oh crap, it's going to kill him a little bit. Oh crap.
do Bozaga on Yang there. And it'll bounce back. I think it hits a random target when it does that. It's better to do Reflect on Yang because he has the most hit points. Like I said, he will um, regenerate the arms eventually, so... I need to use an ether real quick here. On Tella. Oh crap, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Wow. Accidentally casted hold on a. Uh... Oh crap! The reflect wore off. Seriously. Now this is a nightmare. Things went really bad very quickly. Because my headset uh, keeps saying battery's low and it's distracting me. It's really annoying. Can't focus when I have something in my ear tell, tell me my battery's low or whatever. It's really annoying. Let's get another ether on Tello there. He probably doesn't even have Reflect on himself anymore, probably. Yeah, he's going to regenerate the arms. Yeah, his Reflect were off. He got it back, though, of course. But I want to get Reflect on... Uh... Seriously, headsets? Come on, now. It's distracting. This boss would have been defeated so quickly if my headsets wouldn't have, would stop doing that. Like it's really distracting. I didn't expect them to go dead right as the boss battle started. Okay, he still has Reflect on him, that's good. Okay, let's see. Need to use another Aether on Tella. Because uh, he runs out of MP in like one attack. I'm just going to finish off biking. I'm tired of, uh...
part of this battle, it's like going on long enough. I'm just going to finish him off and the armor will self-destruct. I got tired of it. I got tired of it, so I just wanted to finish the battle. My headsets really ruined that battle, guys. I'm sorry. Like, usually I don't have trouble with boss battles. You know I literally destroy boss battles. Like, like I know how to beat the bosses pretty easily. I fought these bosses multiple times because I played through these games multiple times with my headsets battery's getting low distracting me while I'm trying to play the game so sorry about that that was kind of a fail boss battle so I'm not going to re-record though so sorry about that what have you done with the king? You'll see him soon enough. Oh, and give my regards to Scarmiglione if you run into him in the netherworld. That weakling never deserved to be one of the four elemental lords. The rest of us are more powerful than him. Than you are. Yep, the king is actually... Behold, I am the lord of water, Cagnazzo. And it's boss time against Cagnazzo. So this boss is weak to thunder and ice. If you do a lot of damage to him, he'll retreat into his shield. And you have to do thunder attacks in order to break him out of his shield. Uh, you want to have... I should use bluff first, actually. Um... Yeah, definitely get slow on him. We'll do cry. Okay, and we'll start doing Bozara. Oh crap! When he does that, you want to do Tanaga. And that'll break him out of his, uh, shell. Uh, if you keep him in his shell for too long, you'll start to heal his hit points. So you definitely, won't, you definitely don't want him in the shell. There we go, got him. He didn't get a single attack in. Or actually yeah he did. He he did hit. He did attack poor him once. But if I remember correctly, that ball says a bunch of AoE. Um it could uh, I don't know what AoE attack it is, but I know it has an AoE attack. Uh, but anyway, I just use ice attacks, and then when it has the shield, use thunder. And you'll be good to go. Right. You. Gah. And it's boss time. It's the Dark Elf. Alright. Attack. This particular boss is weak to Holy. And he has magic. Cast all elements on your party. In, our, in succession there. Uh, 
Uh, first thing, let's get uh, slow on him. Alright, Tornado will put you in HP critical. Kind of a nightmare ability. I hate that ability. Yeah, you ain't gonna do a lot of damage to the uh, Dark Elf. Let's get haste on Yang there. So we can get more attacks. Yeah, he has Hex as well. So you can cure a diet food. Do get the Naga. Yeah, apparently his magic can miss. <laughs> Kind of odd. Yeah, it's only element the weakness is holy. Say your prayers. Yeah, it becomes a dark dragon. Trust most. I need to get some MP back. I don't know if it'll work on him or not. Nope, it does not. I guess I'll have to use an ether. Ooh, it's dark breath. That's nasty. Yeah, let me heal up instead. There we go, got it. Dark Dragon defeated. And for defeating that particular boss, you get 5,000 gil. And 6,000 EXP. Very nice. Mindy. Sandy. And Cindy. We're afraid your journey is over. We will take your crystal. Say goodbye to your beloved Rosa. Delta attack. And it's boss time against the Magus sisters. So for this boss, you want to focus on taking out Sydney, And she has about 2,500 uh, hit points. Let's get slow on that one. Okay, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's fine. You can use Reflect all you want. Oh, here comes Delta Attack. Now the reason you want to take out Sydney first is because Sydney has a bunch of white magic. If you played Final Fantasy X before you played Final Fantasy IV, then you probably already knew that. And then next we want to take out Mindy, I would say. And then finally we'll take out Sandy. Oh no, put Berserk on Tella, that's not good. Because he can't eat, cast magic anymore. There we go, got him, nice. Magus Sisters defeated. And for defeating the Magus Sisters you get 9000 EXP. 
7,500 or 7,500 EXP and 9,000 gil. So a pretty easy boss as long as you get rid of Sydney first. If you don't get rid of Sydney first, you might have a little bit of problems because she can like cast white magic to like protect the party and heal the party and stuff like that. And she can make the battle pretty annoying, so you want to get rid of her first. It seems Master Golbez has underestimated you. The Lord of Wind, Barbaricia. You disappoint me, Cain. Falling back in with such weaklings, despite your powers. I've simply come to my senses. I've grown sick of siding with animals like you. You snotty little wretch. I'll enjoy killing every one of you. With the old man and his meteor gone, I stand you stand no chance. Let's see about that. I probably should equip stuff before this battle, but anyway, it's boss time. Against Barbaricia. So when she puts up that, um, uh, the wind thing, uh, you want to use jump on her. Don't attack her when she has that wind up. There we go. See if we can get slow on her. Yes, nice. Should have probably got protect on on Yang first, actually. Okay, doing that again, so we want to do jump. Oh crap, he's going to be up in the air. Bad timing on that one. protect on Yang. Definitely don't use Berserk in this battle, whatever you do. And you gotta be careful not to attack her too much because she'll go into that form. Yep, see? So now you wanna jump. She'll cast Tornado. Now so you wanna do Kiraga. I thought I hit Kiraga on, on Yang. What the heck? I could have sworn I Kroger Yang, didn't I? There we go, got her, nice. So yeah, as long as you know how to beat her. It's not so bad, but I remember the first time I fought her, it was like insanely hard. Because I didn't know how to beat her. 
And I was obviously a lot younger back then as well. So obviously the younger you are, the harder the bosses are going to be. And that's something I'll never get back either, unfortunately. Because there was fun playing the Final Fantasy games and it being a challenge. It seems like playing through them now, it's like super easy. Because I already know how to beat all the bosses. Because I've played the games multiple times. Basically the first time playing through a Final Fantasy game is the best time to play through it because you don't know what to expect. And the bosses are more of a challenge. Anyway, for defeating Barbaricia you get 5,500 gil and 9,000 EXP. Yup, Cacabrinas. We are cute and we are scary. We love to kill. Let's take their heads. Yeah. A gift for Gobez. Yippee ho. And it's boss time. Against Brina and Calco. So, you want to take out at least one of each of them. Um, that way you can get them in the best Yuri. But you don't want to kill them all because um, you'll miss the best area entry if you do that. There we go. Eventually they will merge together. In the meantime you want to get protected. Combine. All right, here we go. So for Calcabrina, you want to defeat her as quickly as you can because <clears throat> uh, she'll revert back to the dolls if you don't kill her fast enough. Castle Zuno on Calcabrina. There we go, got her. Yeah, like I said, if you don't defeat her in time, uh, she'll revert back to the six dolls. Also, like I said, defeat one of each of the dolls, or else you will not get them in the bestiary. I'm pretty sure uh, you have to defeat both of them. One, one of each of them. I'm pretty sure that's how that works anyway. Anyway, we get 16,000 EXP and 7,000 gil for defeating Calcabrina. And it's boss time against Golbez. So, this battle... You cannot actually win this uh, battle, for, just so you know. What the? We're missing all of our attacks. Oh no. I don't even think it matters I'm getting shell on this. <laughs> You're, I expected more. Ice bind. Oh no. Open your eyes and gaze upon true terror. Shadow come forth. Shadow Dragon. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Black Fangs. Instantly defeat our characters. It's all over, guys. This has been a great playthrough of Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. Farewell, Razor. 
Mist Breath, what? It's the Mist Dragon. What is it doing here? It just defeated the Shadow Dragon. My Shadow Dragon. Destroyed by Mist? Are you okay? That voice. Who is it? We're able to damage go but Oh, look who it is. She's back. Yeah, let's bring back some characters here. And as you can tell, she no longer has white magic. Let's go ahead and do life. Bring back Yang instead of, uh... Do another high potion on Rosa there. Yeah, you want to take a little bit to bring back your characters and, uh... Can't see, my microphone's in the way. There we go. Let me use life on Kane. There we go. That should be good enough. Might get a good cure or er, let's do jump. Attack. We'll cure the party. And we'll do black magic. Or no, we'll do summon. And we will summon Titan. Guy is Wrath. Yeah, look at that damage. This this cannot be. Gobez defeated. And there you go, for defeating Golbez you get 15,000 1 EXP, 11,000 gil. So pretty good. And that's one of the reasons why you want all your characters revived. So they all get EXP. Obviously you could just defeat them with Cecil and uh, Rydia. But you don't really want to do that. Because you want to give everybody, you want to get everybody that EXP. Have a safe trip, Master Rubicante. Do not worry about me. Ebon has already been decimated along with its ninjas. Take care of things until I return. And he disappears. Teleports away. Heh <laughs> heh. Gobez and Rubicante are gone. I'm in charge now. What's with him? It's a creepy doctor. Shh. Who's there? Razor. How did you get up here? Caught you in a bad at a bad time, eh? What a pity! Rubicon isn't around to protect you. How dare you disrespect me, fool! I may not be an elemental lord, but Doctor Lug Lugia or Doctor Luga, and the brains of Gobez's operation. On my honor, I will protect this tower. That's a laugh. I've heard enough out of you. My greatest creation will shut you up soon enough. And it's boss time. Against Barnabas and Doctor and the Doctor. So you need to defeat Barnabas first. 
Or you'll miss Barnabas in the bestiary. So just make sure to defeat Barnabas first. I did not mean to get haste on uh, Rosella. I meant to use it on Yang. Yeah, you big oaf. Over there, beat them up, not me. Grr. There we go, Barnabas defeated. Now we can defeat the doctor. Oh baby, you hurt my baby. You left me no choice. I'll control him myself. Alright, Barnabas Z. Ooh. Yeah, he hits very hard, as you saw there. But we got him. For defeating Barnabas and the Doctor, you get 5,520... EXP and 5,000 gil. Alright, we get a razor leveled up there. 39. How dare you? I'll show you why I'm feared. And it's boss time. It's Dr. Luga. Yeah, and he has sleeping gas. Who has a counterattack, if I'm not mistaken? Yep. Luckily, we have a character that can use Azuna. No more games. That's kind of annoying that it counters with sleeping gas or he counters with sleeping gas. Alright, he like transforms. Let's see here. I need to use Azuna. There's so many spells here. Oh, I accidentally defended by mistake. Oops. And yeah, now he's starting to do poison gas. And you can't multicast Azuna either, so you have to do it individually. And he also has beam as well, which does minor damage. And laser, which does a lot of damage. Power and jump is obviously really good, because you want to do as much damage to this boss as you possibly can in one round. So, power and jump are the way to go. That way you ain't got to do it with as many sleeping gases. For defeating the doctor, we get 10,000 EXP and 4,000 gil. Alright, it's boss time against the king and queen of Eblan. So for this particular boss, all you gotta do... Oop, stop attacking. Fools. Burn to ashes. Fyra. So your only goal in this battle is just to uh, survive. What is going on? Father. Mother. So you can have Rosa like use prey or whatever to keep the party alive. But you cannot win this. You cannot defeat them. So. So 
So just... Oh, they're starting to glow. King, king... The king and queen break from the spell. Edge. We no longer belong here. I'm sorry, Edge. We must go now. Eblon lives. Well, it goes by too fast. The battle message. I had the battle message set to f fast this, so. Don't leave me. Farewell, my son. Mother. Don't go. And there you go. That's how you win that boss battle. You just do nothing, basically. That's what I do best. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. Well, not really. <laughs> Yeah, that's like the easiest boss in the game. Just all you gotta do is survive. And they're very weak anyway, so. I shall restore you to full strength. Do not disappoint me. HP and MP restored. And it's boss time against Rubicante. So this boss is weak to ice, as you'd expect. And he absorbs fire. So obviously you don't want to use fire against him. And he counterattacks with fire. Uh. So something you could do before you start attacking him is get shell on all your characters. Oh no, he's gonna... Ah, uh, crap, I timed that bad. I think now he's gonna absorb it, right? Nope. Oh wow, 9,000 damage. Yeah, and he also has Inferno as well, which will pretty much instantly kill your character. Okay, there we go. Now we can attack him again. I'm pretty sure you don't want to attack him when he's like... ...in that mode. Do another Blazaga. Surprised it does 9,999. Oh, there goes Edge. Use Kira on him. Another Blazaga. He's going to turn back to normal here. Oh. Oh, that's right. He oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, when he has the... Koki absorbs ice, that's right, I remember now. And of course Edge dies there. Let's go ahead and do Kiraja on the party. Yeah, so once he puts the cloak, uh, once he gets rid of the cloak, then you use ice on him. And 
And don't really worry about the counter attack too much. It doesn't really do a whole lot of damage anyway. I'm pretty sure it does a lot of damage in the 3D remake though. Okay, now we can do Bozaga. And obviously he's going to do uh, Inferno here in a little bit. And we want to Phoenix down whoever he uses Inferno on. Oh wait, he didn't die. Well fault. But this is not the end. I shall rise again. There we go. Took out Rubicante. Yeah, whatever you do, don't cast ice on him when he has the cloak. Like I did. And for defeating Rubicante, you get 18,000 EXP and 7,000 gil. They're moving. Moving the crystal must have set off a trap. So much for a smooth exit. And it's boss time against Demon Wall. So this is the first time seeing Demon Wall. Obviously it was in uh, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 12. Uh, the trick to this boss is you want to defeat it as quickly as you can. Because it will start moving closer to you. And... I think we definitely want to use a spider silk on this boss to slow it down some. There we go. And do a little guy's wrath here. Hopefully, it doesn't absorb it. We'll do Titan again. Not sure what you can steal from it. Should probably look that up real quick. Okay, you can't steal anything from it. And it has twenty thousand hit points, by the way. At least, I don't, at least in the Game Boy Advance version. I don't know about this version. Yeah, if it gets too close to your party, it's game over. And it'll slowly get closer and closer to your party. And yeah, it was in Final Fantasy 4, 7, and 12. And 15 as well. I'm not sure if there's any other Final Fantasies, but I know it's in those four. I think I lost. I got a game over to that boss the first time I fought it, but I beat it. I beat it the second time. You think I'm the king? No, no, I'm just an old man. Queen Asura. Rosella. Dear, what brings you back to us? We need your help. Very well. First you must prove your worth. That is the way of things here. Do you possess do you possess the pet strength and courage? Challenge me yes. Let us begin the test. And it's boss time against Asura. Alright, so this boss. Uh, will not attack until, will not attack you until you attack it. What you're supposed to do against Asura is cast Reflect on her. Otherwise she's going to heal herself and that's going to be bad. After you get Reflect on her you want to cast Protect on all your characters.
Uh, because she counterattacks every attack with a physical attack. If you don't get reflect on her, she's gonna keep curing herself. And you won't be able to out you won't bid out damage her. Out damage her healing. And I get protect on edge and that'll be it. We'll be good to go. Now obviously the reflect will eventually wear off of her, which is obviously be bad. Yeah, she doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. Especially since we got protect on all of our characters. But I do have to be careful that the reflect doesn't wear off of her. Because uh, it doesn't last on her per uh, permanently, I don't think. Very nice. A very easy boss if you know how to defeat her. Uh, but obviously, if you don't know if you don't know to use reflect on her, it could take a long time to defeat her. And Rosa leveled up there as well, so that's nice. You have proven your worth, Rosella. You may you may summon me whenever you desire. Rosella has learned Asura. You are the first to defeat Asura, but you cannot overcome evil with strength alone. A strong spirit is required to steer 
one's powers towards righteousness. Will you test your spirit against mine? Yes. And it's boss time against Leviathan. Who has been in so many Final Fantasies. Alright, let's do Tanaga. Yeah, it has Tidal Wave. Um, which we're going to want to heal after that. Yeah, the Naga will do max damage to Leviathan. Um, yeah, we want to get Shell on everybody as well if we can. That'll help reduce the damage that Leviathan deals. Get shown the lowest HP characters first. Uh, I guess I'll get it on Rosa. Here comes Tidal Wave again. There we go, Leviathan defeated. Very easy boss if you have the Naga. Which obviously you will have at this point. And for defeating Leviathan, you get 28,000 EXP. It's the Four Elemental Lords. The Elemental Lords, indeed. Master Zimus blessed us with a second life. Prepare to die. I shall enjoy fighting you again. You have fought us of the power you have told us of the power that comes from joining forces that is what we will do now allow me to restore your strength this time this time we shall prevail and it's boss time against the four elemental lords Throw a shrieking at it. Wow. Um, the Soya doesn't even have a Fyraga. What does she use Flare? Get shelling everybody. All right, here comes Cagnazo. And when he has that current up, you got to use the Naga. Which Fasoya does have Thonaga at least. Fasoya doesn't have Fyraga though for some reason.
Okay, we got shell on everybody. That's good. Now I start getting protect on everybody, and now we have Fabricia. Throw a shrieking at her. Wow, oh, six thousand damage by uh. I forget what spell to use on her, but I guess I'll use Flare, because it's not elemental. Flare is instant cast too? Wow. And finally Rubicante. And remember, only use Blazaga when he's like that. Don't use Blazaga when... Uh, when his when he has his cape up or whatever, because he absorbs the Naga or absorbs Blazaga when he has his cape up. All right, got protect and chill on pretty much everybody. Oh wow. That was a lot of damage. Get Cure on Fasoya. Cast another Bozaga. Alpha Soya Kiraga the party. There we go, the four elemental lords defeated. Alright, got him. So Rubicante is obviously the hardest. But they're still all pretty easy. Even Rubicante is not that bad. That Firaga and Inferno is pretty insane though. Almost wiped my entire party. This is the core of the giant, the CPU. It's CPU. Whoa. We have to destroy the defense node first because they can repair the CPU. Yep, and he's 100% right. It's boss time against CPU, defense mode, or defense node, and attack node. So, you want to defeat the, the defense node, and you want to leave the attack node alive. Now, you may be wondering why. Well,. Uh, the reason is because if you kill both of them, both of the nodes, it'll use a move called Globe 199 or something like that. And it'll do 9,999 damage to two party members. Not not the whole party, just two party members. And also the boss has uh, Reflect as well. So basically Rydia is useless in this battle. I mean, you could dispel the... I think you can dispel the Reflect. But he'll probably just recast it on himself anyway.
Yeah, see? So what you could do is do the spell and then queue up a flare and you can do it like that. I, that's something I've never done before, but something you can do. That laser seems like it's uh, magic fi focus though, so I'm putting shell on. I'm putting protect on for no reason, basically. But anyway, once you take out the defense mode. You're pretty much good to go. Like just secure of the party or whatever. And now once once the CPU's down, just take out the tech node. And there you go. Easy boss. Very difficult boss if you don't know what you're doing. Like the first time I played this game. Because I didn't have access to the internet. Uh, when I first played this game... It was just me. I had to figure out how to beat every boss by myself. And I did it. I beat every boss by myself without any help. Uh, but that bo that boss that we just fought was a nightmare because I couldn't figure out I couldn't figure out how to beat it. So basically if you know how the boss works, easy. If you don't, very hard. That's what I like about a lot of Final Fantasy IV bosses is they require strategy. They're not just, oh, I'm going to attack, attack the boss until it's dead. Final Fantasy IV is like, no. You're going to figure out a strategy to defeat every single boss in the game. And you're going to use elemental attacks and whatever else you need to do to defeat the boss. For instance, in this battle... Only taking out one of the nodes instead of taking out both of the nodes is the effective way of beating the boss. So, there you go. I do not need your pity. Although I have been slain, I have been given eternal power. A summer that follows you will be able to call upon me whenever my help is required. Call on my sword, and it will be yours. However, you must earn my respect by proving your strength and courage. Let us begin the battle. And it's boss time against Odin. Okay. Let's do a good flare on him. We'll jump a cane. So that's looking just attack. And as for Rosa, I want to get protect. Get it on Rydia, I guess. Oh, he's already defeated. Wow. I didn't expect him to die that quickly. Odin defeated. 16,000 EX or 18,000 EXP for, for defeating Odin. And it's boss time against Behemoth. You jump. I will do flare. I think it's boss like counterattacks, like yeah, pretty much everything. Let's do a good uh Kiraja. Something you could do is get protect on everybody, that would help out a lot in this battle. But I'm okay. What does more damage, flare or meteor? It 
There we go. Behemoth defeated. All right. And 57,000 EXP for defeating the Behemoth. And 65,000 gil. You may have won the Vatan over, but that proves nothing. I, Bahamut, God of Summons, shall deliver the final judgment. And it's boss time against Bahamut. Alright, so what I want to do is get Shell and everybody immediately. And of course we want to attack. So what this boss will do is it'll do a countdown and if that countdown goes off or goes to one he'll use Mega Flare. Maybe I can defeat him before he uses it though, but... Also, just as an insurance policy, I'm going to use... A jump here. Gotta get show on uh, Cecil here. There we go, got him. So I got him before he could even use it. He's pretty much guaranteed to use it in the Game Boy Advance version and in the DS version. Like, there's no way you'll be able to defeat him in time in those versions of the game. Unless you're like stup stup stupidly over stupidly high level. Like I am in this version of the game. Because you level up so fast in this game. So yeah, don't take him lightly in the other versions of the game. Just because he's easy in this version. He's definitely not in the other versions of the game. That's for sure. Especially in the DS version. He's very hard in that version of the game. You gotta rely on Shell in that version of the game. Uh, you could also get Reflect. And you can put Reflect on your party and it'll bounce the Mega Flare back at him. However, it does not work in the it does not work in the DS version of the game. You gotta use shell. And just help you survive. You use shell and then defend. And you should survive you should survive it. Alright, it's boss time against the white dragon. <laughs> Slow, is that all you got? Oh, it's a counterattack. Okay, that makes it a little bit more bad. Do a little flare. Yeah, counterattack slow is kind of OP. But <laughs> we're going to defeat this thing probably pretty quickly. Oops, I didn't mean to put haste on a... Uh, Rudy, I meant to use it on a... Uh, there we go, got it. Didn't matter. 55,000 EXP for defeating the White Dragon. The Coveter of the Holy Land shall perish. And it's boss time against Plague. So that puts Doom. On all your characters right at the beginning. So, 
Here's what I recommend you do. Take out one of your characters and then revive that character. I chose to take Riddy out because um, she's the weakest one, easiest one to take out. But I might be able to beat the boss before <laughs> Doom before Doom even wears off. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was stupid. There we go. Got it. Yeah, I didn't even have to worry about the doom. For defeating it, you get the Holy Lance. Which is the ultimate lance. In this version of the game, anyway. Alright, it's boss time against the Wicked Mask. Let me turn off 2 times speed. So this puzzle cast reflect on itself and on your allies. So you just gotta rely on physical attacks to take it out. Alternatively, you can just cast spells on yourself too. Uh, bounce spells off yourself. But it's better just to physical attack it. And there we go, took it out. And it, you get 50,000 EXP for defeating it and 65,000 gil. None shall ever bear the cursed sword, Mazamune. It's boss time against Ogo Pogo. And it starts out immediately with Tidal Wave, okay. Double Tidal Wave. Ah, oh, great, Kane. Why'd you have to go up in there? Probably gotta do a get shell on everybody in this battle. So this is basically AoE the boss. Luckily I can counter it with Kiraga. It's a pretty OP counter attack honestly. Seems to only counterattack magic though, it doesn't seem to counterattack physical attacks. So I just rely on physical attacks against this boss. There we go, took it out. 61,000 EXP for defeating it and the Mazamune as well. Alright, it's boss time against Zimbus's mind. Okay, so... Obviously you want to go with magic against this boss based on the amount of damage that we're dealing with physical attacks.
There we go. Took it out in two flares, though. So at least it has a low amount of hit points. Because it's basically immune to physical attacks. And there's also Zimbus's breath around here as well. And it's boss time again. Zimbus's breath. And apparently it's scanning us. Should I be scared? Probably not. Mind Blast. Okay, so I could paralyze you. Okay, so I guess it's a counterattack with Mind Blast? There we go, took it out. So that was probably one of the uh, easiest bosses in the game, because all it did was use scan. Which basically does nothing. Wow, plus three to strength in that, uh, in that level up, nice. Those damned by Zemus shall never bear the sword. It's boss time against Dark Bahamut. And he starts out with Mega Flare. Go ahead and cure our cane there. Since he missed out on the Kiraja. As long as you can tank that first Mega Flare, you shouldn't have too much problems with this boss. Oh no, that was... Yeah, Flare's going to take out one of my characters a bit. Yep. Yeah, and he can bounce flares off, him, off himself, too. Sorry, right, I could use, uh... Full life here to bring her back. And just keep wailing on the boss. I'm not sure if he does Mega Flare again later. He might. I'm not sure. But obviously you want to defeat him quickly anyway. And obviously don't use magic on him because he has reflect. Physical attacks are the way to go. As usual in Final Fantasy 4. There we go, got him. Dark Behemoth defeated. 
Won't be seeing Dark Behemoth again until Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Zeromus, I won't lose. I can't. Hey there. Let us help you. Don't give up. Trust in your power. Their prayers give you strength. Keep your focus. Don't die on us. Their prayers give you vitality. You must prevail. Razor, my brother. Give the holy power within you to the crystal. Great, I didn't turn the battle speed down. Fantastic. Alright. So, at the beginning of this battle, um, he can't do anything, and you can't do anything to him either. So, the perfect, perfect thing to do in this time is the buff. And, oh yeah, by the way, final, it's final boss time. It's Aromus. Man, they get shell. And I keep it shaking in mind uh, for later. Um... Something you could do after he shakes is cast a magic spell or use an item on him that does something to him. And it'll actually lower his intellect. And after his intelligence is lowered, uh, his ultimate attack will do less damage. Alright, as soon as you have shell on everybody. Wait, did the shell wear off? No, it's casting on all then. Alright, let me, let me use the crystal here. Alright, I'm on auto too, seriously? Great, it already wore off. I right, use the crystal. Well, this is gonna be more interesting going very fast and all right. Now we can damage it. Throw some Fuma Shurikens at it. Yeah, it's going to do Big Bang. Which want to use um, Kiraja to heal that up. If you attack him with a black magic spell, he'll counterattack with Flare. I think Black Hole gets rid of debuffs, or buffs, I mean. My DPS is going to be a lot less because i um, playing on um, very fast here. And I can't input my commands fast enough.
Oh yeah, and I think you want to steal from him too. I think you can steal a black hole from him. Or, I mean, uh, dark matter. Or maybe he drops one, I'm not sure. I'm also not sure if he can steal anything or not. Alright, he's going to use Big Bang here. After he shakes, he does Big Bang. And then you want to counter with... Uh, uh, counter with um, Kiraja. Okay, and you cannot steal from him. Uh, so don't even bother. Anyway, you'll notice how I'm just having Rydia just do nothing. Because he'll just counterattack Rydia, so there's no point. Use the X potion on Kane there because he's getting a little bit low. Did not mean to attack with Rosa. All right, here comes Big Bang again. I'm gonna heal up with uh, Cecil as well. Actually, I shouldn't even have done that. His healing is really bad. Oh, here comes Big Bang again. He likes to spam Big Bang in this version of the game. Up oh, Meteor instead. I shouldn't do as much as Big Bang, right? Yeah. Ain't you pretty much jump every every round in this fight? There we go, got him. So we're almost defeated on very fast speed. Even though I shouldn't have been because I was at a disadvantage, but luckily in this version of the game you're so high level it doesn't even matter. But I definitely should have fought him on normal speed. Because the battle would have lasted a lot longer. But there you go. That was the final boss of Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Pixel or Master.